All right, welcome to Ages Dynamics Anniversary Sale, where Dyson does not have, oh, sorry, Osiris does not have the correct pants on. He has those tight fit jeans, and he looks terrible. Anyway, Algrid, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Uh, so we're here in Hall A. We have three levels to visit today, because uh, everyone knows Aegis has a shit ton of ships, and some of them are really big, like that one right behind you, two gents, the Reclaimer that takes up the whole damn thing. I've got my Reclaimer pants on now, so I'm getting... Oh, cool. Yeah, she looked way more appropriately dressed, not like an angsty teen. Alright, um... Do we want to say anything in the arrow? I think probably not at this point. We'll just go straight to Gladys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll be there shortly. I've just had an issue with the, our YouTube screen. It doesn't want to come up. It's really annoying. Cool. All right. Um, tell me about Gladys, Cyrus. What do you like about it? What do you don't like about it? Blah, blah, blah. Well, here we are side by side again with the Gladius and the Arrow. <sighs> and I... I still like the look of the Gladius um, over the arrow. Uh, they can both equip so three size threes. Is that correct? You can take off the turret on the arrow and put a size three up there? I think so. That's right, you can. Uh, Dyson and I did some uh, free flight testing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, you could take out the size three, the, side, the, the turret on top, put a size three on. Is this the arrow? Are you talking this about? This is on the arrow. Oh, you wow. Take, okay. You could take out, so you could take out the turret with its two size ones and put a single size two on, uh, a gimbaled size two, or you could put a size three um, weapon on it. Would you prefer <clears> this, <throat> the gimbaled size two, to the two singles? Um, I think you'd probably, depending on depending on how you fly. Mm -hmm. um, in one of our flights, Dyson felt that the size ones actually gave him a slight edge in him ripping apart the gladiator shields just because that was that constant stream of the fire he was mm. able to get on she number okay interesting yeah um and he thought he felt that gave a slight advantage but it's got uh, a smaller cross section too and it's just so nimble it, yeah. it's but the other thing was, was um seems like the better ship the other thing dyson was saying the other day was he was finding he was flying with um just size three Gatling guns on all three mounts, so they were just fixed, fixed target, no gimbal, and he was finding that was was a bug, you know, it was working well for him, and that's something you do with each ship, I imagine. Yeah, because, um, I did talk to him extensively yesterday after yesterday's show, and he's saying that it, it, if he had to go back to one ship, it would just be an arrow. So mm. that's a pretty big um. Yeah, that. The only real difference in terms of weaponry between the two ships is the Gladius can take um, four size, uh, six size three missiles, um, whereas the Gladius, whereas the Arrow can take four size three and two size two, uh, and that's that's the only difference in in really the weapon loadout um, in terms of what you can min and max it to. Um, and the other thing, the big thing we keep coming back to is that size. Just the size of the arrow compared to the Gladius is the, the winning feature. I'm just going to come back here and get both of them in shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should we move on to maybe the Avengers? Uh, the yeah, sure. Avengers. I did find it very interesting in the video today, Jared mentioned that this is the third most popular ship in the game. Which and one? The, the Avenger. The Avenger. And I think that would have to be next to the, the Mustang and the Aurora, wouldn't it? So that's pretty... Yeah. And well, I'm, not sure, yeah. I'm not sure what value the Mustang actually has um, in terms of being popular. I'm just... Well, it's a starter package. I, I'm just... I, I think yeah. the reason why this is as popular as it is, though, is because people have actually put a bit more money in. Like now, I without, know that... without without kind of guessing, can either of you guys actually tell the difference between these two at range? Is there any way to tell at range what's the difference between the two? The only way I don't I can think tell so. Is the the only reason I know is because I looked in the back of this one over here, so I saw the EMP generator. Yeah, yeah the, way, the way I, I tell is it's got, it's got the distortion guns on it. See these, these white guns? Yeah. That's how I tell. Oh, yeah. 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 So that's, a, that's the warlock. Yep. Um... Anything you guys want to say about the Warlock, or do you are you guys like me and just pretty much recommend the Titan? 
I do. Yeah, it just it's for a small amount of money you can upgrade your starter package to an Avenger and it gives you more multiple different gameplay styles yeah. and it's I'm gonna move over the much time. better value and it outclasses if you're, this. Yeah, if you if you're really just looking at starting off and not really, you know, wanting to be able to do a whole host of different things, then I I think you yeah, you can't go past the Titan. Now I know in the first stream on RSI Dave, they were, you know, the, the um, CIG guys were saying the, the, the um, Aurora is the ship to start with. That's the one that, you know, you can do everything. But the the Avenger just gives you so much more. and enables you to not only just start off and do those starting missions, but it also enables, it, it has a longer lifespan in terms of progression. And how, much, how much extra is it? Is it 20 bucks extra or 15 bucks extra? Oh, actually, yeah. And I think that, that though, when you've already paid 45, is actually a little bit. It is quite a little bit when you think about it. Mm. Um, and that might be why a lot of people just do stay with the Aurora. The way I look at it is a lot of AAA titles, at least here in the States, will retail for $60 US. And if you're going to spend the 45 for a starter package with an Aurora, you might as well upgrade it. And you're still spending in the same neighborhood and you're getting a much better. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I think if I was going to, especially if you got LTI, I think this is the much better way to go personally. Um, yeah, we've talked about this to death, though, on so many episodes. So I think we'll move on from there. Um, a little sad to see that they only put the Hoplite in, not the normal Vanguard. I was a bit surprised by that. Um, anything we want to well, say? I think the only interesting thing I'll say is I did like that they said they're going to rework it a little bit when they do get around to doing the variants. Because they hmm. were meant to do the variants this year, but they didn't. So, I'm a bit happy about that because it, it really does need some love. Yeah, well, you know, the, the Vanguard really is a... It's a, yeah, it, it was a ship that had so much promise, and then when it came out, so many of the things that, that had been promised in the concept style just weren't there. Um, and that, I know, cheesed a lot of people off. And oh, okay, Class, uh, Class F just said the wood was on the other show floor. All right, we'll have a look at those then when we get there. Does the Vanguard include a fuel scoop? Is that what makes it a long-range? Um, I think it's just a long-range fighter. Was, it's was supposed to be a long-range fighter. Yeah. I would assume it's got the fuel scoop. The thing that sold me on it was um, they said it was going to have all these crawl spaces and stuff, and it was like this really cramped ship you could move around, but you had to kind of like crawl to get around on. And when it came out, it wasn't like that at all. Um, and and we'd seen crawl spaces before it came out on the Star Ferris. So I was like, oh, this is going to be so. The cool. thing, the thing that originally got me with the Vanguard was the fact that that midsection you could take that out and replace it so it was like the you know like the um, oh you can still do that though with the pods is that what you're talking about that's what i am talking about uh, but i understand they're actually trying to move away from those pods okay. so my understanding that annoys me to, you know but the yeah. idea that we want to go more towards variants rather than the um battlefield upgrade kits all right yeah, real quick um, real quick question <clears> before we um go on to the next ship where do you see the hoplite now we've got a ship say something like the valkyrie because i find that this doesn't have as much of a place as it used to that's a personal opinion i probably know that might be true with you guys but what, what's your answer to that do you think that this is a it's not as good as it used to be because the valkyries around or no i actually think it's still as good as it was simply because it can still fit in the javelin ah okay yeah i'll yeah. give you that one so but what if you, but, 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 I'm not sure if it fits. But in okay, a, what I want to say is, like, I know it's long range, but what if you say you used a cutlass instead? Because what I does this offer over a cutlass? In, in, that's where I was going to go with it. Yeah. A lot of people <clears throat> don't have access to a javelin. You yeah. can, for what, like less than half the price, you can get a cutlass black. You can fit just as many infantry plus cargo in a vehicle. Yeah. It's a no brainer. If, yeah. If, if you, yeah, but that doesn't, that's not putting. That, Saying go go over cutlass over the over the the hoplite is a null and void argument if you're looking at cutlet uh, hoplite versus the Valkyrie for the same that that uh, use the cutlass is exactly the same argument. Mm. Why go for a Valkyrie? I, I did I did actually say specifically against the Valkyrie, but yeah, if you if you look at other ships that can do the same job, I think the cutlass 
a lot of people question the decisions with this gym. But hopefully mm. they can fix all that. So we'll, we'll leave it there without going on any further. Let's but go over and look I at the saber. I can't recall whether the hoplite fits on a fits on an Idris. Um, I'm pretty I certain. I think it, it would. Like, look at it front on as you walk away, and remember the wings fold in. And then when mm. we get over here, have a look at the saber. I think you find they're about the same width. I think um, it would. So if if they can get a hoplite in it in an Idris, then that I, I think double increases that value of the hoplite over a Valkyrie because the Valkyrie can't fit <laughs> yeah can't cannot fit but then <laughs> then I come back to the same thing that me and, the javelin. me and Osiris just said you've got yeah. a cutlass and I would take the cutlass over it because it also has a vehicle it's also cheaper yes like right uh what can we say about these two ladies the comet and the actually that's a really quick question what do you guys think about the skin ships they did for these a few years ago a, a waste of space or I think they're a waste. They're Fifteen dollars, and you pretty much get exact. You get a weapon change. That like I, mm, right. I, I, I brought it, one and never applied it, and ended up selling it. I, I think, I you think have to the stock loadout on all those series of ships is worse than the base ship. Uh -huh. I think. Agreed. I, I think you'd have to look at each each of those special skin variants, because uh, sometimes it will, you know, and see what. Yeah. What components it got? Do, does that have a slightly different component? Does it have? Is the individual weapon upgrade any different? But in most I, cases, <coughs> I, I reckon personally they should have just sold them as a five dollar optional skin and not worried about the weapons. But That's in most cases, personal. you're paying fifteen bucks for a five dollar skin. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and you got some weapons, but a lot of people didn't like the weapons. That's what turned a lot of people off. They didn't like the loadouts. If they'd made it a skin, I think they would have sold more. But here's a question: We know that they based on what they told us with Origin. We know that de they delayed the three months use because they're wanting to bring in that customization tool and they're using it the cutlass, uh, the 300 as a test piece for that. Um, Prime... When... Pre 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 no, I can't print it. Prime Evil Adam was asking us about the ship loading. Uh, we didn't have any issues with the ships today. It was quite simple. Sorry, I didn't cut you off. Um, so the question with the... <coughs> With that customization tool when you buy, how is that going to affect ships like sales like this in the past, in the future, where you can customize the paint job? Like, and I imagine it to be the skin, the various skins they, they make available. Yeah, one of the things we said about that yesterday was or, we hope they uh, retroactively add it for older ship people. And, and how? And how? And then how does it affect the you know the different loadouts you put on, like what they did with this? Yeah. And I think it's one way of getting that very vari the variance idea going because mm. uh, that was the original idea of variance as I recall it you know this is what you can do yeah uh, sounds like that paint system's moved on a along a little bit um, mm. yeah yeah um, what Osiris just put there in chat is being extremely helpful um, so I think they need to be a little careful with how they do that though or they're going to face some backlash because if they like you said Algorit, if they make those limited edition skins available via the customization thing, then people who paid cash are going to be mad about that. They might do and a refund, they though. They might just I go, would, here, yeah. have a refund, now you can use them in the, the thing. And that would be a really, that would be a win-win for everyone, because they get their money back, no love lost, um, unless they're annoyed that they're no longer exclusive. Well, that would be standard for most people, mm. I think, get annoyed that it's no longer exclusive. But yeah. I could say, like, in terms of the customization, I would imagine I could see it being okay. The base hole, the empty, like the uh, retaliator base, it's a retaliator without any any pots. Bang, okay, that this much. If you add this feature or this paint job, you're going to pay five dollars. If you add these weapons, it's going to be, um, and so you'll be able to work out what you want to buy, and also tailor your ship. You know, you could get a a, a retaliator. At, base cost or you could take to, or you could min max it to the you know buy a mint of the max version with all the the bling and, and pay extra for it so I could, I could see that being the option that they'll use with with that and that will enable them to and I think that's moving away from that the different variants that they sell they will just sell the core and then you modify it as you go right. as long as they make the space kitty skin available for all the ships I own <laughs> All right, uh, time to talk about my baby, <laughs> the Reclaimer. I love this ship. This is it's an ugly looking beast. I love it though. It's 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 the one I've been looking forward to most, and I'm really looking forward to next year when we put salvaging in. Um, 
Yeah, until salvage engineer knows this is just a great big monster boat. It's just... It's got get some bugs that keep coming back up, like the elevator at the front doesn't work at the moment and things like that. But um, I have a lot of fun trying to land this ship places too. So I'm I'm really interested to see how the flight model's gonna work. <coughs> uh, yeah. Point four. But um, I have I have not yet mastered landing the reclaimer. Yeah, I've had a few people joke that I need to start calling mine the Meteor, because that's how it lands. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Look, I, I really love the look of this ship. I love the feel of it, and I love the idea of the gameplay. you kind of got this exploration-y type style gameplay where you've got to find out what's in the ship that you've collected. Is it going to be aliens, dead bodies? Is it going to be nothing? Um, so... It's going to be living alien. Well, you know, I, I just wonder whether, you know, munching up alien dead bodies with the ship wherever the chemicals in those bodies will actually enrich the, the metal <laughs> extra nutrients yeah so I, I find that a little interesting it, it's a it's a utility ship that also has a little bit of exploration <laughs> built into it as well so um, yeah, also I think it's the biggest flyable ship at the moment I I, I know the hammerhead's technically capital but this this thing is a lot bigger than I've yeah. got to interrupt you there execute and tell uh, and make a comment to black dream hunk yeah, the comments that origin ships are best, and I really can't agree with that. No, I'm sorry. No, we hated we hated origin uh, too much yesterday. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, if you like salvaging, this thing is awesome. Um, I'm I I really looking for. Also, you don't really need a lot of crew for this ship, though. It's a real big ship. You don't need a lot of crew. So yeah, I could talk about this yeah. for for a while. So I'll let but, you guys uh, talk and me, tell what you think of it. To me, as, as much as I think it's an ugly duckling, I think it's a deliberate ugly duckling. And it's kind of Nostromo. Mm. It's kind of alien feel. And I kind of hate aesthetic. Definitely that I, kitchen outfit. The kitchen screams yeah. Nostromo. So yeah. I, I kind of hope that the could, the Orion kind of. Can we go inside where you guys talk? You might. Sure. Oh, yeah, there's stairs in the uh, back here. Oh, really? They added, they added stairs? It's a, it's a platform to the cargo elevator. Whereabouts? I'll let you lead, man. Yeah, yeah, follow me back. I can see Agret, I can't see you. Oh, yeah, there you are. It's all the way in the back of the ship. I agree with your uh, assessment, though. I think that salvage is going to be the most all-encompassing gameplay loop. It's going to involve exploration, not just salvage itself. Oh, you already brought it down. Sweet. Yeah. I'm really getting annoyed by the music in this hall. Uh, it's so it's an annoying hey. anyone on the stream. Let me know. It's just that it's it's not tied to your music. It's tied to the hall. It's really strange. I, I'm sorry, excuse. I've got I've got to um, say tough to you because the other day you were complaining that there wasn't lift music. Oh yeah, that's true. So I'm sorry. You've got to live with it. <laughs> oh, I just don't like ages of bad taste in music. That's my problem. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, a lot of this ship is space, as in cargo and stuff, so it is a bit belated in size, but just the the older feel of it and the, you know, the leaky pipes and all that and these cushiony walls that are remnants yeah. of a, what do you call it, a, um, a bygone era. mental institution. <laughs> but I this, thinking, this like kitchen I like table, the idea you've got the, the, the benches on the side, even though we can't sit on them, you know, yeah. in, the, in the halls, you know, so... <clears throat> but this that, that idea of lots of areas where you know you you can't necessarily get away, but I'm just expecting Agra to fall on the table and a chestburster to come out any second. <laughs> yeah, look, and it even says yeah, snacks. Just, look, exactly. snacks where? on the right there. The, the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on my side, the box that's on the far right it says snacks. Oh, I can, I can see uh, the I can. axe. Yeah. I can't see anything. Yeah, you're probably you're yeah, blocked by the bowls and stuff in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that'd Can't be cool if we could pick up stuff and. Yeah. Yeah, this oh, is no, one of the CCUs. I in can some remember. in some of the halves, you can pick up the fizz drink, and the Probably. plates. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people on the trains with the stuff. And mugs. Interesting. I did Black, throw a mug. In, I Black, did throw a mug with one of the security guards. Black Dream Hunk says I own the Vulture, however, I'm not into the Reclaimer. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I actually brought a vulture and I returned it because after we discussed the gameplay and we went through theory crafting and stuff, it's just not going to have the the gameplay required, unfortunately. Is there anything else here you gents want to show off before we go back out? Or are we done here? I think we're done on this floor too, aren't we? 
Yeah. Uh, I do believe we're probably done on this floor. Yep, so we can head on to Hall B. But I am looking forward to, um, to the, the Orion. I know that reclaiming will probably be... I was a bit disappointed, like, you our group, they didn't show at least a whole of it off. Yeah. You know, the, the uh, outside. Misfit also asks, uh, where's my retaliator up re rear work? They do have a retaliator at the next hall we're going to. Um, but I do agree, I think that's definitely up for, for some kind of rework due to the fact that it was the first ship ever, what was it, the big, big ship I think they called it at the time? The first big ship? But I actually think... That um, had internals. I think it was the first ship that had internals, yeah? Is that how it would kind of lay on mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Well, apart from the Connie. They had the Connie yeah, with the no, multi-crew ship with internals, but that, that was the first ship with lots of little rooms and lots of turrets and other things. Yeah. I actually think, in terms of the Retaliator rework, that the Hammerhead was actually initially going to be part of that rework. Mm. Uh, that, was a little, that was also on the, the thing today. Um, I always forget the guy's name. He looks like a, a wise Chinese monk guy. Um, he, he no, was, Kurt <laughs> Yeah, Kurt Tomei, that's it, yeah, Kurt. Yeah, Kurt was saying that like he really likes the Hammerhead because it feels like an upgraded Retaliator. <laughs> well, see... So in the, the when they started doing the retaliator uh, of a hammerhead, sorry, the idea was that it was a an upgun uh, retaliator without its torpedoes. Mm. Um, and when they put the guns on and the other bits they wanted to put in with it, they went, "Oh, it doesn't fit." Yeah. You know, so. I think that's... my biggest problem with a hammerhead at the moment is that you just need. Uh, it'll be different when we have AI working, but at the moment it just needs so much crew. And the first half of that hammerhead, like, I don't know if we've really ever talked about it in game. We're going to hold B, yeah, hold B. Yeah. When we get to the hammerhead, if we can get inside, I want to show you the thing that I find the most. Those tu the two tunnels at the front, like half the ship is all waste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I find the front of the ship. Uh, 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 oh yeah. Uh, also, also the the airlock straight into the the. Ca the that's yeah. right. The yeah, airlock the straight ship. into the yeah. straight into the I, bridge. I, I've talked about that yesterday briefly. It's clearly Dean designed for a single player event in Squadron Forty Two. You can tell they're going to ram some kind of ship, and then you're going to go through the airlock and like board something. Like it's just so clearly yeah. what's going to happen. It's it's designed for a Squadron Forty Two to be the ship that you use to board a border either um yeah a, a, a king uh, ship uh, okay. or something like that very to, very to similar fight. oh there's actually more avenger variants here than on the other level yeah yeah they get all four of them all right we might quickly have a look at that very ever so quickly they don't have the oh yes they do they do have the uh the skin one that's my favorite of the unique skin ships. It does look pretty damn nice compared to some of the others. I do like, I do like that one too. Especially when they reworked it, like it. it well, they've got the this... warlock on this floor as well, so the middle one, the, the front one, the yeah. Middle it, had, it used to have this really dark. Oh, it kind of does. Ha it does have a dark blue, but it seems to change tint at level. So what's really different about this is just the gun loadout, really. From in most gun cases. Gun missile. I think it has a different missile. Um... It's got a. It's definitely got a different gun, but I can't tell what gun it is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, up with a different gun, sorry. I think when I first looked at it, that was the only one that was different in terms of unique loadout, in that mm. the missiles were... The, the missile racks were different. Yeah. And that they were missile racks you couldn't normally attach to the, to the ship. Alright, well, considering... But I, I could also be wrong on that. Cause... Misfit was asking. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. already tell already, like, look how bugged these elevators are. So, yeah, this baby really does need a rework. I think I think the other thing is, like, um, like Kurt was saying, like, this thing does have a lot of turrets on it. Um, yeah. But my feeling with a lot of the lower-end torpedo ships is they're going to become um, weekender ships where you only kind of take them out when you're getting together with a group, like you know, in WoW, how you kind of get ready for a raid like once a week. Yep. I got a feeling that's what torpedo ships are going to get relegated to because this one might be a little bit different. And I think that's why they added the modules for cargo so you can use it during yep. the week. Um, but I think most torpedo ships. Um, Three. Uh, like, can you see many people pulling out a gladiator? Uh, gla uh, yeah, gla is gladiator. Yeah, gladiator. An eclipse. 
Gladiator or Eclipse. Yeah, there's another one. Gladiator Eclipse. Yeah. Can you see many people? You really have to go into Vanduul space to get your money's worth out yeah, of that. Yeah. So. Is it four or s is it five or six turrets on the? Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's two at the five. back on the bottom, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, two at the first. Is it I know we're the Yeah, there's five. Really love their two at the top, three at the bottom. I gotta say, this is so probably five, the ugliest ship in Star Reclaimer. It is one of the ugliest, but the other thing you can tell when you look at it, it's also one of the earliest. Because look at the outside, look how low poly it is. Like you can yeah. see the yeah. the polygon. Like like you can, when they redo it, they they really do, it needs a rework from the ground up yeah. because it's just and it was a test bed for so much stuff that it just needs. But to be even redone. even looking at the lines on it, it. You can see that in its day, it was the stealth ship. Mm. Now, it was designed as a ship, as a as a stealth bomber. If it was updated, I, like I still like it. I just want the bugs gotten rid of and stuff like that. And you can tell they're going to update it. It just needs an update, or at least needs much, fixes. Okay, question: How much is it going to grow when it updates? <sighs> it, now, should, it, it probably should grow too. It probably should. Well, we know that all the old ships are growing just to fit components. I probably think, honestly, I know this is going to probably sound a little controversial when I say it, but it probably should grow height-wise, not length. Like, yeah. there's a lot of kind of wasted space with all these blades and stuff that stick out on it. So you could probably minimise a lot of stuff. But it's also meant to be a lot older ship. Like, the, the other yeah. thing that a lot of people forget is this thing's got a shit ton of VTOLs on it where a lot of ships don't have external VTOLs. So this actually that. will be quite a good um, job ship because of the VTOLs. Now, when, yes, and that's the other advantage. You can actually put um, drop ship components. Uh, I believe that, that this might even... No, you can totally correct me if I'm wrong because I probably am completely wrong here. But I remember someone saying a while ago, because of the width of it, it can possibly fit in an Idris. In an Idris, is that true? Or I'm I completely tried, wrong. Talk along those lines, but yeah. If you could fold those wouldn't... wings in, I no, probably a little bit wide back there in the back when I look at it. But yeah, I'd have to go look at the hangar. But you imagine if that could land in an Idris, that would be that would make it a really a prime choice for. Um, I I wonder whether it would grow. You could grow it to kind of Corvette size. Um, oh, man, it's, you it's a medium base? ship here. Yeah. But then, then you got the Polaris. So yeah, like no, someone just said in chat. Uh, I think it was a large ship. It, 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 it is. It is a large ship. It, it's meant to be Connie esque size, so it is slightly sl smaller well, than Connie. Take the Connie the same was supposed to be medium, but Connie is now large. Yeah. Well, it takes the same pad as a Connie anyway. Um, but given the idea that the Hammerhead was an upgunned, was originally going to be an upgunned, um retaliate it like i actually think part of the reason the hammerhead's got that middle section missing is it's a carryover from when they were planning it as being a, a retaliator mm. without its torpedo tube. yeah we'll show that in a minute uh, there's some there's some weird stuff under the bottom of that retaliator is there anything else uh, uh, under the, <laughs> the hammerhead? you mean the hammerhead <laughs> yeah i'm getting my eyes crossed yeah we'll show that in a second but is there anything else you want to tell about the retaliator and we'll just quickly move on to this vanguard real quick no we can go on vanguard all right so yeah, because some some of the some of the hammerhead some of the uh, retaliator talk will come back when we're talking hammerhead about the hammerhead. hammerhead. That's what that was my thoughts exactly. Yeah, so um, I, I I actually owned this ship and I melted it. Believe it or not, um, I don't think I'm alone in that. But I I would buy it back in a heartbeat um, if they when they rework it if it is what it should be. Um, I want my crawl spaces back, but I don't think I'll ever bring that back, to be honest. Um, we have I a think warden the, I think here the, and another, uh, the, another harbinger. If you look, like, think, if you look at this on. ship on a map, like you know how there's the there's a not a map, sorry, there's a side cutaway of all these ships. Yeah. If you look at it on a side cutaway, out of all the ships I've ever seen, it has the most wasted amount of space. So this ramp at the back can't right. utilize it at all like this area here could have been used for cargo or anything it's just completely wasted um so and then you go to the area the behind the where the like look how much wasted space is here this is all wasted you don't do anything like this has got even, gun even racks the fact that you've got that little airlock but that that little airlock is really also from the 
Well, this is the pod. We're technically all yep. in the pod here, right? Yep. And I, if they're trying to move away from these pods, the only reason to move away from these pods is dollars. So they can sell more ships. Um, and that'll piss off a lot of people. I, I really loved the Vanguard initially, but with everything they've done to it, I think they've just... Look, I, I think like, the guy I that like, designed it doesn't even work at the company anymore, does he? I really like the bad. idea of a, I really like the idea of the pods and the way the pods work. Yeah. Well, uh, in this variant, it also that actual also works as a life pod. Like when you eject, yeah. um, it, it's a life pod, like it, a lifeboat. It's boat. the pod that ejects. Yeah. <clears throat> Only in this variant, I believe, because this is the long range variant, the Warden. The other, the other ones, the E Warfare and the Harbinger, now, I believe they don't have that functionality. Based on e the fact that Warfare is the one I'm really excited about, and yeah. we don't have that one here. Yeah. Based I, well, on the fact I, I have that, the BKUs um, for that and the Harbinger. Yeah. Sorry, Algrid. Based on the fact that the um, that the pod in the Vanguard works as a uh, life pod, mm. I'd be interested to see an Argo with a Vanguard pod that as a work. variant. That could work. Um, yeah. Just because, you know, hey, why not? The yeah, Argo is in a very unique position, though, of that one ship that's the super utility. The other ship they need, going back to the, re the, the Reclaimer, is the Cutter. You remember the Carter? Mm -hmm. Never seen yes. anything about that. But I'm waiting for that to pick back up. Or are they never going to do it? Just all that music is loud. That fell right down the memory hole, bit. Yeah. Holy, what the hell? Walking up the visible ramps. So this is what algorithm was mentioning earlier. It's got some, and I was just saying we'll show it off, but it's got some really weird metal plates underneath it. And where yeah, they, they look like they almost look like doors. And yeah. when we were first talking about it, we actually thought, oh, these are doors for a, a midsection, but no, yeah. no. And even the back of here, like it looks like something connects and all that, and it just there's just yeah. so much weird stuff on the interior of here. Um, I honestly would like it if the you know the windows that how they face each other. I would have liked it if there was windows that went up as well, so you, as you were traveling along, yeah. you could see well, the yeah. Well, this weird shit at the back here. Yeah. That's actually the back of the thing. Yeah, I know. It is really weird, though. Like, it looks like something connects. But it does look like they should, it's a, an access point to something. Yeah. Uh, and I remember when we watched, when we were doing our first stream, when we first had the images, that's what we were thinking of. Oh, we were thinking of ship pods, in here and all this stuff. We were talking about We were thinking, oh, pods, because, you know, that's obviously an access point. And, and I I tend to think this is kind of carryover from... We talked about in a, like an assault craft, didn't we? Like, oh, this way yeah. the Marines load in and, you know, like it drops yeah. out and goes and attacks. But, yeah, that we would do a lot to redeem the, the shortcomings of this ship. Yeah. And that was, and, and you know, and these like, tiny strange plates, oh, these, these might be, you know, some, some form of armor protection to, to for whatever pods in there. But, yeah. Are you boys able to bring down the lift at all? On either side? I usually use the back lift. Yeah, I'm just... I can't get it to come. Oh. No, I can rent it, but I can't bring it down. Any anyone you can get a, a lift down any any one of the three, please let me know. Not able to do it. Uh, Can Bribon says Van, uh, Vanguard or Wise is not an old ship. No, I don't think it is an old ship, man. I think it's not. Really what one's that? The Vanguard. He's, also, he's saying that the Law Wise it's not very it's not very old. I don't think it is. From what I remember, it's fairly new. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in here, but, yeah. But if we really want, we can rent one. Yeah, we can, well, we can rent one or you and I can just walk. Well, I can walk one. Yeah. Um, maybe we should move on to the last four then. Oh, we have, actually, we have the Eclipse to talk about real quick. Is it just me or is that white to you guys? No, it looks white. very light. It's almost light. like a very light. light. It looks like white. Yeah, very light. It might just be the lighting. Yeah, the bright light they got around the edge. Yeah, it's the same. There's a Saber Raven down the other corner, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. So, this is basically the new bomber that came out that replaces, in effect, the. The Retaliator. Uh, the Retaliator, because yeah, the Retaliator two, it Was it two of these equals one Retaliator? But the cost and, of it was uh, really. It's the same price cost as Retaliator. Prohibitive. I really like the idea of it, but I agree with you. You're not going to use the ship every day. Or probably even every week, it's going to be an occasional leave. Oh, look, I think I think the Retaliator, even though the Retaliator is the old ancient ship that you're not going to use, the Retaliator has more value and use yeah. than the Eclipse. 
because you can put the different pods in or you will be able to put the different pods in um, you know turn it into a plane cargo vessel turn it into a troop ship turn it into a, an extra living space ship now I'm um, having trouble pronouncing this guy's name in chat but he's mentioning that, that, that you should try flying the Tali in Hurston's atmosphere it's nearly impossible yeah it, it's got Horatio, VTOLs like it just, Bugler. yeah it, it, it basically we would study before ratio it really needs a rework on the uh the, the whole thing, like it was one of the first big ships, so to speak, with internals. Test bed for a lot of stuff. When you look at it from the outside, it just doesn't have anywhere near as much detail as other ships. Sorry to interrupt you, I could go back to it. That's okay. Saying. I was just saying what his name was, Horatio. Yep. Yeah, so I think the Eclipse, it'll appeal to some people. I think 90% oh, look, of people will see that it's probably not wise investment for bank for your buck ratio. The look, the look of it is stealth. Yeah, oh, it's a great. I think you know, it's a great looking ship. I think a lot of people did buy it based on the look. Do um, we want to look at the Saber Raven real quick, or do you just want to move on to level yeah, three? Yeah, we can get a Saber Raven. Are I those even can, still available? Yeah, with those you can buy them on SSD? eBay. Believe it or not, quite cheap. Um, but I, I think the the code runs out really soon if it hasn't already. So yeah, if you don't get one soon, um, if you want to get yourself a game package or a meta game package very cheap way to do so I, I think we're about half price of what they are actually valued at and you can technically if you don't like the raven go into something above it so you could go to a defender for an example yeah it's a fun ship to fly too with the emp uh my like that said though you put it next to the normal saber i think the normal saber is a lot better yeah um, I, I do i do have a claim of fame of destroying a raven in a staff era nice <laughs> It's true. <laughs> no, it's ramming true. speed. Yeah, probably. No, I'm all like just sat there and it crashed. What, what was that? No, no, Grid. What? 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 This is saying, rentable uh, though. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Suggests to me that you'll probably be able to get it in game. I reckon you will, based on what. Yeah, that's. Oh, the fact that you rent it, can rent it. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. I'm going to say n no because of a contract that they'd have had when they were. But maybe it was just so, it. a limited time sale. Like they'll never sell it, but you can buy it in game. But does that mean you can do the same thing with the Amiga as well, the Amiga Mustang? Interesting. So I brought both of those because I thought they were going to be rare. You know, like oh yeah, cool red mm. ships up by those. But you know, they might just turn I around and destroy my fantasy. <laughs> My, right. my gut feeling at the moment is no, just mm. because trying to get when I've been get gathering prizes for for the infamous Crux Cup, um, the Amiga, the Raven, and the Sky for the three ships that have always been no, we're not selling them, no, can't yeah. get them, can't even give them. All right, I'm just um, filming you boys as we head towards the lift, so walk and talk. So, yeah, so part of the idea was that um, with the with those ships is that they were under contract. They were sold under the contract or agreement, they were sold as part of those packages. And so because of that, um, they are not available, except in those packages. Yeah, um, someone's complaining about the noise in the expo hall. Yeah, I've got no way of turning it down because we it's not tied to audio. My mute, look, look, I'll even show you uh, if you can see my menu. The settings for audio, music is down to zero and I've turned, I've had to turn game sound down because it was so damn loud. Um, but yeah, it's we were complaining about ourselves earlier. Really annoying. Sorry, Agra, keep, keep going. No, I, I basically just finished what, oh, I, was, cool. what awesome. I was saying. Um... All right, let's head on to the last floor then, shall we? I think everyone knows what's coming, but... Although, as, a, as I did say before with the uh, music, you know, Execute can't really complain because he was, he, was, he was whinging the other day that there was no lift music. There's still no lift music, <laughs> so I can continue to complain. Leave me alone, old man. <laughs> what was that song we were humming? Uh, okay, I'll sprint to, I'll sprint to get Really bad lift. corn music. Anyway, take us to where we're going next. Uh... Yeah. yeah. To the pavilion. It's like 1956 porn music. It's terrible. Let's go. Right. So, look at the all the size rumors of were true. There is an Idris in game, but you can't get inside it. So it is just the shell. 
So hopefully that does mean that on break day we will see the Kraken. The Kraken in Oh, game. I hope so. That would be cool, actually. I didn't think of that until you mentioned it. But then I just jumped uh, the gun because I, I remembered the name. Today was unsuccessful, by the way. What, what was, was unsuccessful? My attempt to get Nidris. Yeah, I kind of missed an opportunity there. Well, well, we can talk about that a little bit. CIG continues to keep releasing um, limited sales, and they only release them once. Around, instead of releasing them like a three or four times so everyone around the Grove gets a chance, they're just releasing them once. And so they release a prime time in the United States, everyone in the United States gets one, and everyone else around the world complains. Well, everyone it's, in the United States gets a chance to get yeah, one. Yeah, it's just, it's really And annoying. unless you get up at like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the morning in Australia yeah, yeah. or elsewhere, you are yeah. screwed. And, and it's, yeah, you're, you're I, getting screwed too. It's not just, you know, not just us. Yeah, well, you know, I. I can't speak on how screwed Europe gets, but I can certainly say how screwed Australians were. Well, even Osiris didn't get one. He lives in the States, so... Yeah, yeah. I just fell through the floor and died. Well, That's my luck. Uh, yeah, Osiris, I, 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 um, well. <laughs> so well, I, got onto, I got onto the sale page 26 seconds after it went live, and there were zero left. <gasps> yeah. I was once in, I was once in a, a room with uh, there were six of us in a room i was the only one that didn't buy a javelin and the javelin sold in 136 seconds and i did the math and it was literally like like <clears throat> 1.25 million dollars in 136 seconds i was like holy shit <laughs> well i can remember the first wave of the javelin when when they first brought it out the yeah that's wave, the one i think went about, in yeah. like i think the first wave was done in or one of the ways went in like 10 seconds. It was like, they were gone. Either our grid is very, very large or this gun is too small. Which gun? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing is huge. Yeah, <laughs> like our yeah, grid, you could sit, you could fit between the two, like, you could stand between the two edges of the rail gun. Oh, yeah. that's an edge of a rail gun. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm assuming this is the M, yeah? I'm a good a guess. Good guess. A... Don't know. Well, it's... I can't tell from. Can't tell. Don't know much I'm about guessing, them, just to be I'm guessing it's the M because that looks like a railgun. Yeah, it really does. Um, I was a little bit turned off by buying any just today. Actually, when I watched that the video when they talk about oh the P is just like totally stripped down and the only thing you can get is the the railgun and like how rare they made it sound like it's going to be rare as shit anyway. What's that? The P or the the, the M? The, the finding a rail gun to put on the P, they made it sound like it was going to be really hard to find. Well, they always said it was going to be very hard. One of the things I did like, though, that they mentioned about the P was how a lot of the turrets are remote turrets, which I yes, think that's is right. a, a, a good thing, not a bad thing. I think it sounds uh, like the M is going to need a shit ton of people to crew it. When, when I was comparing the Idris P or the Idrises to the um, Kraken, one of the big differences was that the Idris had remote turrets where the Kraken didn't. Interesting. Um, I can't recall if that's changed now, but yeah. But that's one of the things that the the upgrade pack changes on the Idris. <coughs> it enables you to change uh, for the four remote turrets Is... to four... Um, I'm talking, automated turrets. Talking physically based size here, how much bigger is the Idris than the Reclaimer? Are they about the same size? They seem about <laughs> on par, but I could be wrong. Probably I, completely. I wrong. think you're well and truly wrong. Come how on. much? Be, well, how, tell me. How, like, I, I'm I'm talking about length here because I remember there's a you know YT ship scale. I remember looking and they're roughly the same as in length. I know there's a more like there's more internals and more rooms to the Idris. But oh, like, lengthwise, I think they're about the same, aren't they? I just think the fact that the uh, display hall with the Reclaimer had other ships that were in there with it and didn't take up oh, that's just the whole place. And yet this thing... I probably just want this thing to stand out. I, I honestly can't make that comment. I'd need to go look at the YT ship scale again, but I can't because I'm in the stream. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, one of you do. Please do it. <laughs> All right, I, I'm looking. If you wouldn't mind, I'm just curious. From from memory, they're roughly the same size. Yeah, I, th but I am. Look, I really am impressed with how this thing looks. My uh, another, I don't know. A uh, quick question for you. What's your thoughts on ramps? Because I'm, 
I think they need to do a bit of work on how ramps work. Like, remember how it used to pop up and all that stuff when this thing came down? I, I really would like to see them use some kind of the tech for the landing gear to kind of like make it so the ramp height is adjustable. And if you also think about how it kind of has a, a an extension to the to the ramp itself, why can't they make it so that it automatically kind of detects where the landing gear is and that kind of sets how the the ramp height goes? Do you know what I mean? That yeah, to me um, would be I just certainly a found, nice code. I certainly found with the hammerhead that the, the, the ramp extension, the ramp comes down or the, the bay comes down and the little ramp comes, comes out. Mm. Uh, and that seems to uh, kind of adjust itself a little bit. Um, well, we, we saw videos of it like the ramp coming down and it literally made the whole ship pop. <laughs> yeah. like so a, to answer like your question ramp. about the sizes, mm -hmm. the Reclaimer is 155 meters long and the Idris is 233 meters long. Oh, there you go. Smashes it by 50 meters. Yeah, I, I, I know they were, yeah, I, I knew they were roughly on par, but this thing has probably had a shit ton more work done on it too because of Squadron 42. Um, do, do you mind if we go upstairs and we kind of we'll walk along the edge and so hopefully get a bit of the top view of it? Uh, this is, I, I'm just blown away. And look at those turret sides. They're huge. Mm. And they're massive. And they've done a lot of mood lighting down here too. They've like mm. red under, underglowed the whole thing. Yeah, it's rather nice. Rather cute. Would have been nice if they put some more stairs in both ends, but you know, figures can't be choosers. Uh, so the little, little, just lots of little things in this screen that this whole expo hall's been rushed. Like the fact that there's only one elevator, one set of stairs, things like that. I, I'm, I'm impressed. I've got to say, I am really impressed by Hurston's um, expo organisers. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not know, as the as, that, they're not as good as they're not as good as the volunteers that work at uh, the CIG Expo. Oh, so, certainly not as good as the Australian volunteers at Pax <laughs> Oz, but um, which but, you know, yeah, that's right. But no you got to ask tomorrow. Would you recommend CCUing a Vanguard Warden to a Caterpillar for forty? Ooh, in the current state, yeah, but I would get the CCU and sit on it. That's my always my recommendation. If you think a, a ship's going to be bad, sit on a sit on a CCU and just wait, man. Um, I, I, a lot of people don't like the caterpillar, but I'm one of them. I think Algrid likes it as well. Is that right? Or no, or, I no, just like the caterpillar because yeah. I can't fly the damn thing. Yeah, I love it because it because it's so different to fly because you sit way off to one side and it it's just got this really weird feel. Also, I'm kind of waiting on the modules for that to I'm hope. I'm hoping we finally see them tomorrow because remember oh, last I'd year. Like to see modules for the caterpillar. Do you remember oh. when they had that ad for what was the ship? They had an ad, and at the end of it, they show like a launch pad for the 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 Drake modules. What was that last year? Oh, I can't even remember the ship yeah. now. Uh, I think it might have been the end of the Hammerhead ad or something like that. They um yeah, I'd have to go back and watch it again. Mm. But I'd like to see the modules for the caterpillar. I think that was the they they were the thing that made the caterpillar worthwhile mm -hmm. yeah we need trump uh, to go out and make the caterpillar great again make the caterpillar great again <laughs> <laughs> but, as a cargo ship it's a little bit underwhelming compared yeah. to some of the other still but i would it's, say it's, it's probably one of the best list. best ones to play with at the moment in the pu um yeah. cargo wise but well it's got the best cargo space i believe yeah. but I, I i can't i'd, I'd rather take a starfarer because i can fly the starfarer and land the starfarer with ease I'm, but I'm, i must I must also say, I think the Kraken has taken a bit of the, the glory away from the cat because the cat was initially a, proposed as that home away from home base for pirates. And now I feel that the Kraken has definitely stolen that. Uh, well, Kraken, it's a home away from home yeah. for that. Especially when it lands on planet. That, so that's the other thing. See, you were looking at getting an Idris today, weren't you? Um, Sorry. Did you, yeah, did you so melt I, your Kraken or what did you do? I melted the Kraken. But you um, can buy it back. But right? I'm an, I can buy it back, and I I kind of always all along knew I was going to end up with the Kraken at the end, whether or not I got the Idris. So you're just so going to get both. Play test the Idris in the short term. Yeah. No, no, no. I was going to get both. I was just going to play test the Idris in the short okay. term. Yeah. But I think Kraken I, versatility is a lot more appealing to me. Yeah, I think I think that's kind of where I sit with it as well. The Idris to me seems a lot more combat focused, um, and I, I won't be until we see a bit more of that the rooms and stuff. I think you'll get your med medical rooms and stuff in this as opposed to the yep. the utilitarian rooms. So I, I think this does really lend itself to combat. Um, yeah. I've... Um, 
Yeah, sorry, I'm just reading some of the chat messages. People talking about different upgrades now going all over the place. Um, I would definitely sit on Jason. I would definitely sit on. Yeah, the I brought I brought upgrade. four of them. I literally mul melted my old one that cost me a hundred dollars, Jason, and I brought four of them. Two for the I've got two hammerheads, and I can turn them into two Polarises, and I got two extra in case. Mm. Some but my hope, some. my hope is the fact that they upgraded the hammerhead to a Corvette, meaning it's a minimum. It, it is a Corvette now, capital man. ship. It is a, it is a minimum capital ship now. That's it, right. They, they did upgrade it to a Corvette. Yeah. So yeah. So when they upgraded it to a Corvette and made it the minimum size capital ship, mm -hmm. I would hope that that means they actually put capital class components on it. Yeah, it's a similar situation. Where was, someone was talking about the Constellation. Apparently, it's still got small engines, which yep. blew my mind. Yep. Yep, it's a, it, they they kept a, they grew the cat the grew the caterpillar grew the, the uh, Andromeda from a medium ship to a large ship, but and yet it's still got can, the medium and small components. Can we walk on and it. talk? I have an idea while we talk. I want to go spawn a hamhead and show people that problem. I know we weren't going to go out in the ship today, but I'm I'm doing this on the fly, and I know you probably hate me for it. But yeah, keep talking as we walk. Yep. So what problem are you talking about? You were, t uh, you were talking about the, the the constellation sizes just as we were moving. Yep. But the hammerhead, no, you know the tunnels? The, the, hammerhead, hammerhead. the hammerhead tunnels. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, wonderful hammerhead tunnels. Because we couldn't spot. get into the other one, so let's just... We don't we don't even have to fly it out. We can just show it off. It's going to be loud on that hangar, though, unfortunately. It will be. I might, just turn, my si I might just turn my game sound down to nothing when we go in there. Uh, I, did get, I did manage to get it out of a small hangar the other day. Yeah. It's, 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 it's hard... It's hard to it get took, out. It took teamwork. Have you seen... Work. Have you flown at the atmosphere? I have. Oh, my God, that's a chore. Like, it takes so long. I'm not kidding. It took me 20 minutes to get to 100,000 feet and took me four minutes to get to Port Alisa. It took me, like, five <laughs> times as long to get to atmosphere as it yep. did to get to... Oh With a maximum speed of 105 SCM. Yeah. It is a slow... Oh, and it's... it's takes so long. I actually managed to get it to 160 in atmosphere. Um, but the other day, we, um... In our shenanigans, we, um... A group of us went out, found, took the hammerhead. This is, this is CIG's work, man. Making all these NPCs work with no food and water. Look, they're all starting to pass out! Oh, that's terrible. No, uh, that's security. <laughs> They were, bat they were complaining about Hurston's... Um, working conditions. Working conditions. But what I was saying about the Hurston... Um, Do you want to spawn you know, yours, man, or am I spawning mine? I'll spawn mine if you want. Yeah, cool. What I thought one of the... Um, the things with the Hurston um, Expo people that I'm really impressed with is the fact that we've only got one Expo Centre, and yet every day they've completely reworked the whole place. Except for um, the arrow. Yeah, Except the, yeah the they don't, they don't ever move it. It's just it's too heavy. Um. Okay, hangar five. All right, I set it to five percent just so it's got some kind of ambience. Yeah, you, you, Ooh, you really want. Well, he got rid of his phoenix. Good move. Don't get Agra started on that. He'll. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh. Uh, hangar five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. I would. Um, I would recommend. At least getting at oh, least and getting you a got CCU. Rid, and you got rid of the six hundred I. Interesting. We were kind of saying if you've got a Phoenix, go to a six hundred I. But you've got a yep. no jump. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> what did you end up getting, Hooli? Out of curiosity, I'm just curious because I, I always wonder what people go to when they leave a ship behind. Did you just turn it into credit or? Kraken owners might get the Idris as a loner. Maybe you never know. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd reckon that's a possibility. I would um, expect that to be the case. Everyone in? Yep. So we're we going to have to yell shortly. Yes. So if we start yelling, no, no. Just well, well of turn your sound down. I turned mine down to five percent. Recommend you guys do the same. You know, we only need to hear each other. We don't need to hear the game. There's no alarms or anything. And you change it back up after the stream. 660i, well, holy crap, he's water. got a new variant, guys, look at that. He burned Whoa. the Phoenix and CCU to a 660i. <laughs> well, 
That's that's like the three twenty five A variant, the the combat variant of the six hundred. Right. That would be so cool. I would buy one of so those. So what was that? What did he do? Sorry, he got rid of his phoenix. He melted his phoenix, and yep. he got a six hundred and sixty I. But I think he just means a six hundred I. So he he, he took yep. our recommendation from Origin Day and yeah, upgraded. Let me just um, yep. change my sound. Yep. So yeah, we can start at the back and and show really quickly. Like all the stuff for this ship is at the back half. The only thing at the front that's important is literally the bridge. The bridge. The bridge. And it's it's one of those ships. This and the Valkyrie are two of the more recent sh concept ships, and they're both have this problem where if you open up an airlock, you vent like half the ship. Well, this ship does have a lot of um, blast doors and um, yeah, they things still on the They just but they're they... not not open or closable at the moment. I noticed the weird lighting issue though with that elevator too, like it's really dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until you open it and then it kind of like pops. The other thing I don't like is how uh, these doors work like, I, I guess it's kind of good though for a combat reason, they work like shield walls. So if you were yeah. lowering a vehicle, they'll be covered somewhat. But I it would have been nice if they had windows so you could see out. Yeah, I, I think that the, those walls actually working as shield walls is actually a good thing. Yeah, I just, um, aesthetically it's not. And, and I've had a lot of people complain about how overwired these engines appear. Because <laughs> it's just... I, 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 I worry about how uh, much gunk is coming off the engines. Yeah. So, you got the engine room here, and the kitchen is just up above these. So, we won't go up those lifts. But, like, you can see the living quarters are all in here. So, all the meat and potatoes, all down this end. You know, you've got your turrets and your captain's quarters here. Now, everything after you go up these stairs... Actually, it's probably a bit after... From about here... Is, is duplicated on the other side of the ship and waste of space. Like, this yeah. corridor's Hello. got nothing. Yeah. Hi, Slim. Hey, Algrid. Hello, Algrid. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, it's just a tube to nowhere. Two tubes. And then this front, up, front bit up here, they've modelled all this really cool impact stuff, right? Oh, but look, look, look. Yeah. Got it. Here, here's, their, here's their airlock. Yeah. But does that... Here's their beautiful does, airlock. Does that scream to you guys, single-player... Uh, Star Citizen, though. Like, this is made for some kind of event where this ship rams into another ship or a station or something, and then they rush out here and board into it. That, that's what that tells now, me. Mm -hmm. But here's my uh, here's my here's my um, uh, absolute shock at this design. Here's the airlock and the boarding. Just, just why I'm here. Point. Look how close to the bloody wall we are. Here, no we, are. We, have... here yeah. we are to the bridge. Yeah. So, like, if you if, if this ever got um, they have to get attacked in reverse. Yeah, if you ever got boarded through the nose, you, your ship stuffed. So that said, it's got an exceptionally nice bridge. I I've had so many people I brought in this ship comment on how cool the bridge looks and feels. And have you guys noticed when you go up to atmosphere, sometimes when the sun comes through this grate at the bottom and yeah. it like lights up the whole room, it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, so but the, it, it is a nice ship, but getting out of these hangars is an absolute nightmare. Yeah, so we'll try to wrap up the stream here, guys, unless you guys have got any more questions. Um, no, I think that's For it. CCUs, especially uh, Aegis ones, there's a lot of ships today, but Aegis has been around for so damn long. i just turn the power on so we can see. Now, head, try and head out. It'll actually, okay. and if it stuffs up, it stuffs up, but I don't mind showing people, like, how... Well, if you can tell, if you can tell me when the... Uh... The roof is open. open. Then we can, I can probably get us out. Uh, but. Can't, unfortunately, because it's under the ship. Recommend pressing F4 and looking up. So you go to external view. No, because you don't understand what I'm asking. You basically need a co-pilot to tell you. I'm just looking for the flight. Uh, turn the engines on. I could probably go upstairs and look up the window real quick. Uh, where is flight model? Flight, flight, flight. Pro tip if you're doing this in an emergency. Send it back down. Right, so... And then you can just All jump right, down. so go to that, get comms up. I actually and can't see out the windows enough to tell if the the, wall, the roof is open. Yeah. So imagine if there was a window here. This would just be so much more cinematic, and you have kind of like skylight. Even if these windows were facing outward, I would prefer that. Like it at least give you some kind of a view to look at, but. They are so wasted to the point that all you can do is look at someone on the other side. It's just... Yeah. 
Dedicated to exploration for star system, also science. Uh, you're a Carrick man, I, I take it then, Mr. Black Dream. Doors are open. Alright, cool. That uh, the ship is... Whoa, what's, what's going on with the ship? The ship is drifting backwards because I was in the stupid, um, one of the different views, and it's now stuck. Because I've now frozen. Oh, you've frozen? That means the ship will probably un uh, unspawn. It possibly will. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do the worst thing and bail while I'm alive. Yeah. So this does actually show the biggest problem with this uh, landing pad. So I'm outside the ship now, by the way. You can get up by the nose if you yep. need to. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to jump. Osiris. I think I'm going to abandon ship. So they're in there, there. you can see. Look, and it just gets caught on stuff every time you try to get out. So yep, obviously, <gasps> and now the doors are closing, you're going to get snapped in half. Yep. This happens all the time. Yeah, and you need... I've got it out once with someone telling me when the doors were open and then basically just leveled up. And I can't get out of the seat. It's not letting me out. Alright, we need to duck and cover because this thing's going to explode. Probably. So, yeah, I can't get out of the ship. Well, you didn't explode, but the ship is no. <laughs> kind of wedged. So, well, I'm yeah. under the I'm under Lawville. Timber, someone's just in live stream. <laughs> I have to agree, that's quite funny. And I'm dead. Yeah. No, so, no. De definitely uh, some teething issues. Oh, the ship's despawned. Osiris, what happened to you, man? Do you die as well? I sure did. Yeah, I've had, I've had that happen. And you actually seem to fall through the world a lot as the, the uh, co-pilot. And land in some kind of mysterious water miles under the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. I'm now in the mysterious water. I'm dead. Yeah. So, I'm dead. Um, but that's the hassle of getting the ship out of the hangar. I've got it out once. Um, yeah, I, I really think that one needs to be in the reclaimer hangar because the reclaimer hangar is larger again, and I I just can't understand why that hasn't been put in that size. Because tower. CIG are stupid at times. Yeah, they they <laughs> shortcut a lot of stuff without testing. Um, it. you know it's it's insane. I've never had it yet spawn in a larger hangar. It's always in the small one. I've only got it out of the hangar once, and that was basically I had one of our one of our guys Couple in of guys. As, a, as a co pilot. A couple of guys mentioning the Endeavour. I'm a massive fan of the Endeavour. I really look at hoping that there's an update tomorrow for that. Um, it, I, I think it's one of the ships with the most potentials. Like, we talk about how they're removing m modularity a lot. It's got more modules than anything. So mm. if they remove the modules for that ship, do you know how pissed a lot of people are going to be? Because <laughs> it's built around modularity. Um, I think it's probably going to be one of the only ships that survived the module attack that seems to be going on from the marketing team at CIG. But... Yeah. I'd like to hope that ships like the big ships like the Javelin, the Idris, uh, the Endeavour, um, and those, those big ships and, and even the Kraken have a modular aspect which, which works just because they're so big. Um, but, yeah, my I'm not 100% confident that that will be the case. So. <coughs> And the Idris upgrade is possibly even an, an indication that Asa that's going to be, be the case, you know. Do you just want yep. to mention what you were saying to Lab Tips, Lab Tips Junior there? Because I think that's sure. important for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so Lab Tips Junior is asking about the importance of LTI, and CIG have said a few times that it's going insurance in game is going to be a relatively minor cost. It's but, when I when I interviewed Chris. He told me that it will basically be uh, equivalent to one cost of a quest for that's equivalent to that ship. So you, if you do a quest that's designed for a hammerhead, it will literally pay for like a whole month of insurance for that hammerhead. That's what he told me. Anyway, sorry, continue, Cyrus. That said, now that we're in the anniversary sale, if you're looking at these ships, um, at any of these ships, the Anvil Arrow just came out on the first day, and that's an $80 ship. So if you grab the Anvil Arrow at $80 with the game package and then CCU it up to whatever ship you're actually interested in, then you will then have LTI on that ship plus a game package, which is yeah. an extra NPC slot on your account. And yeah. and we're talking, you know, for the LTI token, you're talking War Bond, and that raises the other point. Where if you have... Oh, you've also got the package, Agrid. That's also yeah. what I think he was hinting at. Yeah. If you but buy if you the... Have... 
he, no, no, just, I have to clarify what Osiris said, because Osiris said it gives an extra character slot. It only gives an extra character slot if you take the package. Sorry, yeah. I just need to. But if you're after the LTI token, um, you need to buy a Warbond version. But right. um, if you have gift cards in your account and you contact CIG customer service, I'm informed <clears throat> that, uh, and that's in being informed by CIG uh, customer service people, but if you uh, contact them, they will use the gift cards as treating them like fresh cash for getting um, war bond ships or war bond items. You can't buy a gift card with store credit, can you? I have no idea. Uh, you must not be try. able to, because if if what you just said it means that if you could buy a store credit gift card you could essentially melt whatever and get your money and, back yeah i am just saying for any i am just telling you what the head of customer service but well, one of the customer service big wigs uh, uh, told me when we were talking about um we were actually talking on the weekend about the idris upgrade <coughs> and pricing and the problem with um so we'll have to test that and get back to you guys. I think and, I was, sure. and I was commenting on the problem with um, the fact that Warbond basically killed uh, the gift card market. Mm. Because I, I and many others used to buy, you know, buy a 25, $25 gift card, buy 25, you know. And then you'd, have, you'd build up the cash to buy the ships when they came out. Mm -hmm. And um. he was... I'm just there's a question a statement by Claseth in chat the package is not compatible with the squadron 42 couldn't get it to work is I assume you're talking about the arrow there Claseth is that what he'd be talking about the arrow package and the endeavor is a limited ship no I don't think that's a limited hull is it guys no Lim endeavor no, was limited hull Highly recommend. The, the thing that, that is the biggest problem for me with the um, the Endeavor is the add-ons, is in the, uh, the the modules for it. They're, you can't get LTI on them uh, mm. anymore. It's it's a real shame. Yep. Um, did and anyone catch what happened. hangar that was in? Because I totally missed what ship uh, what hangar I spawned that in. I was too busy trying to reach at the same time. All right, we're going to go blind. I'm going to guess here. I'm going to say it's this one, just from where it's sitting. Oh, wait. No, wait. The really big hangers are the ones over here, aren't they? So it's got to be in hangar one or two. Oh, you're getting a reclaimer? Yeah, I'm going to try and get a reclaimer. I was going to get an arrow, but uh, I might try and see if I can take a reclaimer out to the wilderness just for fun. I've never done that. Can you CC you to one of those modules? No, unfortunately you can't because modules are in a different type of area. But it'd be really cool if you could. Um, yeah. I've, I, the, the advantage of the modules too is you can kind of pick which ones you want for your endeavor. But the biggest problem, like if I, I brought ones last year and I intend to melt them this, this year and rebuy them because it'll just add to their insurance. Add another year of yeah. insurance. And strange. if you don't have to pay insurance on something, that's whether it's... 50 UEC or 100 UEC, that's a saving, and that just increases your profit margin. Yeah, um, it's six um, years in game, it's not six years. Oh, wow, how the hell did I get that? Man, I spawned it in the right one and everything. Oh, wow, I pulled that off perfectly. Um, yeah, it's just. I think a lot of people like the lifetime insurance for peace of mind. Yeah, um, that's uh, purely why I like it. And I gonna be honest I don't have a single ship without it because I've got LTI tokens that I can pull up and, and use and if I'm you know if I'm gonna buy invest money I'm gonna want that just peace of mind yeah. if I'm not gonna pay fresh cash I want that peace of mind you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna use an LTI token that is a cheap ship which I can upgrade to a new ship that's got LTI or you know so it's got LTI um, so a cheaper ship with LTI becomes an LTI token for a more expensive ship. Uh, yes, you could do that, Hooli. So he's he's stating. Uh, so wait, I'm gonna try and read it. 
So what would I be able to CC you an LTI token to an Endeavor and then use credits to get the modules? Yes, that is correct. Yep. And now... In fact, you could use, you could use, if you've got a ship, you can use, L, you can use credits to buy the CCU to the ship. So I have to give up my plan because the elevator is not working. Is there any other way we can get into a reclaimer? Because I know the front lift doesn't work at the moment. No, and okay, you can't, I can't EVA because there's gravity here, so that ruins that plan. <laughs> I think the reclaimer is telling you that this party's. Alright, warning, execute is very, very slow. You will have to stay in VTOL landing mode for ages. Gravity will claim your soul. <laughs> yeah, I have no doubt. As I said before, they uh, call. I'm, I'm really thinking about calling my, my reclaimer the meteorite or the meteor because um, you know, I've had a lot of issues with it in the past. Yeah, trying to land that thing. I've had so many crashes trying to land that thing on uh, Yella at the drug lab. I used to go there just for fun, but you know, it's, it's a nightmare. <coughs> yeah, um, I've only had trouble with the retaliator and the caterpillar. Mind you, I haven't flown as much as yeah. The so uh, you can that that is probably what I'd recommend that you do, Hooli. Uh, is if there is one in one of the packs that you like, go for that because those modules will have the LTI. So his question was confused because they sell them in packs, i.e., farming one and the Endeavor. So, so you got the, the Hope and the whole bunch of different ones like that. So, mm. it, yeah, if there's one that you like in particular, that is the one I'd recommend that you get um, and then just get any extra modules after that because the modules that come with that one in the pack will obviously have LTI. Yeah. Um, but individual modules will not, unfortunately. <coughs> Hang on, five. Um... Any more questions? Because I'm thinking we're it's starting to die down a little bit now. And we uh, I, there's usually a lot of questions on Aegis Day because there's just so many damn ships. Um, mm. Six. Someone's mentioning the uh, what's his name? Black Dream Hunk Two. The ship is buggy as hell, but I fell in love with is the six hundred I. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that slightly before over the um. Phoenix, Phoenix. Aren't we? yeah. Yeah, well, my my recommendation to anyone with a with a Phoenix is get a CCU to another ship if you're unsure whether it'll if you're hoping the Phoenix will come good again. Get a CCU just in case. Um, but yeah, my unfortunately, I I hate the Phoenix. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. Clace is asking, did you guys talk about the Idris P laser beam kit? No, we haven't actually, so probably should talk about that. Um, what's your take? What's your takeaway on it? I know Hayes was joking with me this morning about it. Two hundred and fifty US dollars is what he told me. I haven't actually gone and looked at it. That myself. is what it is. Yep. I actually was. Yeah. I reckon the whole thing came about because of whinging when the caterpillar, I mean the uh, kraken line. Yeah, and they went Idris money grab. Let's do threatened. it. <laughs> No, I think part of it was the fact that people people pointed out the fact that an Idris would get swarmed by fighters yep. and, other, and other ships, which I think is true. Uh, and it's the idea of, look, uh, I think it's twofold. One, having the, the, the laser version, having the, the Idris P plus upgrade gives you an option to have a size 10 laser, gives you an option to have torpedoes, um, gives you an option to replace four of your remote turrets with four uh, automated point defense turrets for taking out fighters and missiles. And that, that's a pretty big, that, that last one is pretty big. That helps remove some of the threat that the additional fighters which the Kraken can put up against an Idris um, can be dealt with. Um, Agrid, there's a question there for you in chat by 123. Can you see it? Uh, it's very much tailored at you, man. <laughs> um, unlimited, to yeah. my knowledge. So the question was, how many um, game packages can you have on one account? And I currently have like 13 or 14. 
ships so, on one account. Landing gear. Yep. Raised. I've got 14 on one account. You had a so with that, surely. Just got, let me just confirm that for you. I'll go into my account and have a look. Get that a spectrum. Um, so it's oh, 250 war bond, 300 yeah, 250 regular. 250 war bond yeah. and a 20% That's increase. for the kit. Yep. No, that's for the upgrade. For the Idris B upgrade. Yep. Um, Does anyone else get these massive, like, Blade Runner vibes looking at this archway thing? Do you know, you know the building in uh, Blade Runner? The... I can't even think of the name of it. Um... But what the one for the company? Mm. It's so Blade Runner. Like it, you could be crazy to not think it's Blade Runner. So I can get to the. <coughs> That's a really good question. Uh, Star, Star says Nate ninety J asks, will they bring out a guns pack for the Japan like they did with the P? Yeah, it's totally a possibility. Um... <coughs> what was that one? Um... Yeah, they know they, they got you if you have this ship, and now another ship comes out and you're afraid that your ship is uh, going to get misfit. checkmated by it. So what what happens with the packages is when you have more than one package misfit, they become pl character player slots. So you're both technically yeah. correct. I know what you were about to say, Ogre. Yeah, both technically correct. You can't have one more than... You can have more than one package, but after you've got the one package, it just becomes character slots. So, yeah. So what a lot of people are doing is moving them around to multiple accounts so they've got multiple backups of the game. So, yeah, I can see why people do that, though. Alright, game packages, because it's easier to do that way. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's aim for the stars, shall we? See how quickly right, I can get this thing over speed. So I've currently got 16 game packs. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no limit. That I can tell. Oh, I've only got... If you're talking about game packs, I've only got four. I thought you were talking about ships. I was like, holy crap. You don't have very many ships, then. <laughs> I've got no, 14... No. I've got 14 ships, so... I've got too many ships. Yeah, that's why I tailored that question to you. <laughs> I think last time I... I think last time I had a brief look, I've still got a squadron of... Hornets. Yeah. If we were playing an RPG and it was real life, his sanity check would be zero. Let's just put it that way. My um, sanity my sanity check is zero. Yeah. Um I'm not getting a lot of uh speed on this one. Let's keep holding <laughs> down the afterburner. <coughs> Alright. Uh looks like we're kinda Yeah, yeah, all right, one, two, three. I needed all those packs to, to crew my Idris. Yeah. All those NPCs. Crew my Idris. I help crew my Idris. Idris is. I dry. Sounds like yeah, uh, Star Citizen eight ninety J. You're quoting Doctor Who. All right. Um, unless anyone's got any more questions, I think we're starting to go into territory of talking and chatting. If anyone wants to continue talking and chatting, we'll be on Discord. Uh, our Discord for the next while. If anyone turns up, we've been there the last couple of days and chatted with a few people. If you'd like to join us there, we'll be there. Other than that, I've been Execute, and this is our grid, and hey. Mr. Osiris Frost. Say goodbye, guys, hey. and we're out. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Oh, I got the wrong keys.